am I'm one of those people who actually is trying to deal with uh, PowerPoint presentations. So um, I actually got an assistant and actually did work. Um, so um, I started with my name, I'm Betty Julian, and I actually am one of the precarious people here at, uh, at OCAD. I teach in the photography program in the Faculty of Art. And um, currently I'm teaching uh, two uh, third year studio intermediate photography uh, production and current practice, which is actually a studio seminar that I developed with uh, another colleague who's no longer here, Isa Merowich, um, a few years ago and is now a third year studio seminar. And um, one of the goals of that studio seminar is to actually have students start to experiment more in their practice in relation to photography but also in relation to contemporary art. And uh, recently, um, a student said to me, he said, uh, you know, Betty, you're the first black professor I've ever had. And I said, wow. I said, uh, is that a good thing or a bad thing? <laughs> and um, he's from Iran, by the way. And he said, it's a fabulous thing. So it's nice to be part of a fabulous thing. So I'm going to uh, talk about uh, a few things and a bit of a quick trajectory between uh, 2005 and the present with a jump to 1992. Uh, this is uh, a documentation of a work by Lorna Simpson called 31 that I curated in 2005 uh, for Prefix Institute of Contemporary Art. It's 31 flat screens uh, dealing with the notion uh, of uh, the critique of cinematic narrative over 31 flat screens that explores and critiques cinematic narrative in many ways, but what's more important about the work, I feel, and also the experience of, of the viewers was the opportunity to see the subject, a black woman, explore her day from beginning to end in many different and complex ways through these screens. Um, and this was a large scale installation. This was a big jump for me as a, as a curator at the time. I thought, what am I thinking? Um, uh, because it's about uh, 20 minutes of synchroni synchronization between 31 flat screens with a lot of technical challenges. And um, the artist originally showed this work in Documenta in 2002 and it had not been shown again, and uh, now I know why. I found out why. <laughs> and um, I was really happy um, that uh, when Lorna was visiting, she said, I'm so happy with the installation, I want to cry. So it was a really great thing to be able to bring um, artists' work of this caliber to Toronto, which is one of the goals of Prefix Institute of Contemporary Art. Uh, this image relates to an exhibition that I just curated. The actual image was not in the show. It's a photograph by Najitzel Norbert called Occupied Territory. And this is her um, uncropped, uh, unworked on uh, image. And um, I just, this image, when I was curating the show, uh, over the summer, this is one of the first images that uh, Najitil showed me, and I just uh, thought, oh, um, this is it. This is where I'm at. And the discourse and dialogue, particularly of uh, doing an exhibition with four uh, early career Aboriginal artists or Indigenous artists, they all said, Betty, call us Aboriginal, so I stayed with that. Um, but one of the things that I think this image for me uh, speaks to and speaks to about being here today is about um, staking a claim and signifying a cultural location within, within the city of Toronto, but wherever you are in whatever role that you're in. Um, this, um, this started as a joke. Um, years ago I said I thought I'd try out teaching and uh, April Hickox in the photo program said, oh, come do some reviews, but you don't have to do too much, you don't have to hang out with the kids or anything. Uh, just come and talk to them about art and see how it goes. And I thought, oh, okay, I'll see how it goes. And in that, in discussing uh, with a friend who was uh, teaching actually architecture, I went back to this uh, quote 
and um, it says, be, be not conformed to this world, but yet, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Romans 12.10, it's from a book um, called The Strength to Love by Martin Luther King from 1963. And he talks about the notion of how difficult the renewing of the mind is, no matter what we're doing. So I think that one of the things as an educator that I learned and one of the things that I continue to learn is that by teaching art and by learning, that I'm constantly renewing my mind and hopefully um, contributing to the thoughts and minds of uh, the students that I'm instructing. Um, I want to jump back to 1992. This is an image of Lawrence Simpson's called A Practical Joke. And I think one of the things in relation to being um, black, but for me, I'm a black Mi'kmaq from Nova Scotia originally, and I've always had this kind of tension about what I do, whether it's curating, writing, uh, my studies, teaching, of the tension of trying to move forward but not feeling quite like you're doing it the way that you thought you anticipated and what that means. So um, this is an image of hers from 1992, but I think that one of the things that I want to think about being here is what are the new possibilities for all of us to continue to create, curate, and research. I formulated two questions, and um, I'm going to speak quickly. So, but um, I think if it's a conference or a symposium, one of the things for me is that what what are the questions? Why am I here? So these are just two questions I'd like to share. How do we more effectively create more space and time for our artistic and curatorial work within the Canadian and international art milieu? And second, how do we continue to learn, to create, and to grow as artists, curators, and art educators while coping with the real-life pressures of the experiences and impact of discrimination and inequality, the increased institutionalization of art, and limited resources? And on a sunny note, I wanted to share a photograph. Um, uh, you do this work with people in your life, but you also have support to do this work. And I wanted to just share, this is uh, an image from this summer. It's my sister's reading group, and we've been together for 15 years. And um, I just wanted to show a sunny image of some of the people in my life who support me. Thank you.